Hey, what's up guys? It's Brian here with Real City Fingerboards, and today I'm coming at you with a review of the Roswell Skateboards uh, Longboard Wheels. Um, this one, I believe, is uh, their 76 by 53 millimeter wheel. Um, and it's, uh, I think it's 78A durometer. Um, that's the only thing is that it's not printed on the wheel like most other wheels so um, that's maybe a suggestion to Eric over there at uh, Roswell Skateboards is to uh, see about uh, getting printed on here or I mean even if somewhere on here in an inconspicuous place you just did it in like some marker or something like that I think most people will be pretty cool with that um, but uh, Eric from uh, Roswell did send these out to me uh, to review um, and I was happy to, to do that for him. He's a great guy, um, so I'd like to help him out. Um, he also sells fingerboards, skateboards, um, regular skateboard wheels, bearings, um, anything that you could really want uh, for a skateboard or a longboard. Um, so now, uh, this is orange. He's got them in all different colors. Um, they even come in bigger sizes. Um, I think his biggest is 97 by 52 millimeters, so that's a pretty huge wheel. Um, you'd have to have pretty big cutouts on your longboard uh, to stop wheel bite uh, with those, but um, I haven't had any wheel bite problems with these. Um, that also, you know, can do with what trucks you're running, how tight you have them, but um, generally, generally wheel size also matters as well. Um, and you can see these are a pretty wide wheel. Um, I've used them on my Lanyot Switch with Caliber 50 trucks. Um, I've used them on my Drags Paradox with uh, Revenge trucks and no problems at all. Um, overall I'd say these are a great wheel. Um, as for price, I'm not sure exactly what he sells these for. Um, I think they're in like the $35 range somewhere around there. So for that price, it's a great wheel. Um, you definitely can't go wrong. Uh, let me see here. Yeah, $35.95 is the price of this wheel. So you can't go wrong with that. Um, it's a great wheel. It's performed well. It's nice and soft. Um, going over rocks at a moderate speed. Um, if it was a harder wheel, throw you off your board pretty easily. But um, with these, no issues at all. Um, I haven't really done any sliding with them, but you can see they're still nice and, you know, it's, it, it's a nice all-around wheel. Um, so if you're just getting into longboarding, um, I would definitely suggest you get a set of these um, before you go get the more expensive wheels because you want to make sure, you know, one, that you're going to enjoy longboarding and not just quit. So, um, and two, there's, you don't always need the best of the best like the hundred dollar wheels or anything like that when you first get started um, but even for people who are have been longboarding for a while these are a great option to have um, you know kind of as like a an all-around wheel um, I tried sliding them but I uh, didn't really have much luck with that I don't really slide that much so um, I'm more or less just cruised bomb hills and you know, I, I don't really free ride all that much. Um, but yeah, they're, they're a really great wheel. I've been using them since I got them. Um, on average, about uh, four hours a day, almost every day, other than when it's really rainy out. Um, and they've held up well. They've, you know, I, I just can't say enough about this wheel. I definitely suggest this wheel. Um, and if you're not, in looking for wheels uh, definitely go over to uh, Roswell skateboards website um, I'll have it in the description but uh, it's Roswell skateboards.com and uh, yeah you'll, you'll definitely find some stuff there for sure I'm, I'm sure of it um, he's got uh, he sells like bone red bearings and um, you know stuff he has his own brand of bearings um, but yeah, and speaking of bearings, that was the one thing with these um, that I had issues with. Um, the bearing seat in here was a little, um, a little on the smaller side. 
if that makes sense to anybody. Um, getting the bearing in was was pretty hard, but it did go in. Um, but uh, it it's almost as if the bearing had to um, stretch the bearing seat in here. But um, that's it wasn't too too hard. Like don't get me wrong, it, I didn't have to like force force it in, but a, a little. A, from other wheels that I've used, it was just a little harder to get them in, but uh, I don't know if it was the bearing or the bearing seat, but uh, I'm using the, um, what am I using in here? Using the uh, ABEX 7 bear, um, yeah, the ABEX 7 bears from Lanyots. So it could just be the, the actual, uh, um, bearing but because I think these are the first wheels I put these bearings in brand new so but yeah guys definitely head over to Roswell skateboards uh, if you're into fingerboarding check out his fingerboards um, but definitely check out his longboard wheels uh, they're they're affordable considering the price of other longboard wheels that I've used that are very comparable to this um, I would definitely go for these any day so uh, take care guys Happy longboarding, happy fingerboarding, whatever you do, happy skateboarding. Remember, always wear a helmet, uh, you know, safety first. Um, yeah, guys, so stay tuned for more videos and go check out roswellskateboards.com.